Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So um, I was tagged, as you will have guessed from the title, um, in the Colouring Scavenger Hunt Part 2, which originated by um, Danny Buttons, and I'll put the link down below so you can check her channel out. But I was um, tagged by the lovely Lavella's Colouring, and I will also put a link down to her channel below. So we were given a list of 10 items, 10 prompts that we had to find in colouring books. So before I get going, I need to explain to you that what I, because I recently put up a video showing all my colouring books and everything I've ever coloured, I wanted to give you guys something different. So actually what I've done is chosen every single page that hasn't been coloured. And the reason I've done that is because I'm going to set myself the challenge that, um, by the end of this month, it's the 14th today, so this could be quite a challenge, that I'm going to try and have coloured as many of these images as possible. Um, some of these books are books that haven't been touched and have been in my, my colouring book supplies that you've seen that I haven't used yet. So this would be a really good opportunity to get some of, to get, to use some of those items, a good excuse. So let's get straight into it and I'll put a, a who I'm tagging at the end of the video if that makes sense. They'll also be in the description below. So out of, um, sorry, the 11 items because there's a bonus, the first one was a, um, a picture of a beverage and I thought where better to start than the wonderful Alice's Adventures in Wonderland illustrated by Charles Santor, uh, Santor sorry obviously by Lewis Carroll. You can get this on Amazon, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. And I selected this page, this beautiful Alice, and I'll leave the tags in because I need to know which ones to colour. And I want to be able to show you all. I'm so sorry that I don't have... I didn't want to do the same old pictures that you've already seen, so I'm setting myself this challenge so that I've got something spectacularly new to show you. So. I've selected this gorgeous picture of Alice and the bottle of drink that she has to drink that says drink me. So this is one I'll be doing. I'll probably will be using my um, pastel pencils in here because it works so well on this paper. So this book is just absolutely divine. Um, a gorgeous, go if you're into Alice in Wonderland like I am is just fantastical illustrations. So immediately a drink for me it sprung to mind Alice in Wonderland. So that's the first one I'll be colouring probably with pastel pencils but don't hold me to that because I might try colour soft whatever I'm not sure um, but I'm quite excited to be doing that one. So that was number one and then number two was a picture of a dog now this book you all have seen, which is Wild Soul by Grazia Salvo, another gorgeous, gorgeous book. And obviously since the passing of my beautiful Lily, um, I've not really felt like colouring dogs, but there is a German Shepherd in here, but I'm not going to be colouring that one. Have I tagged it? Yes, I have. I'm colouring this one, look. Put her back in screen. An Afghan Hound and... Um, I'm just so excited about doing the dog's hair because they're like a blondy golden colour. So that will be gorgeous. And I usually use pastels in this book and I've done two in here. I did the raccoon this last month and I did, um, way back, I did the calf. So I'm, again, another beautiful, gorgeous book which I got from Etsy. I'll see if I can find the link to all these and put them in. But the illustrations, as you, as you would expect from Grazio Salvo, are just beautiful. So yes, so picture of a dog. I'm going to be colouring this gorgeous Afghan hound. Isn't he wonderful? So that was number two. Number three is something that scares you. So images that I haven't shown you, which I'll just move my creaky chair, is ooh, my great big folder for my PDFs. And I have printed them off. I didn't know whether you guys would actually want to see all of these or not. So I've got something that scares me. I'm just delving in. I've got a couple in here. And you guys haven't seen any of my PDFs. So this is a good place to start. Oh, let's flip him over. 
and we have got this one by Terry Sherman Artist. I'll bring him up. This is the name of his shop and he does the most fantastical grayscale images. And this is for, yeah, it scares me. Uh, as you can see, it's some horrible creature peeping through the door. I'll just pop that back in so I know where he is. And as a child, let me take it out of the sleeve actually because you're catching a glare. Um, as a child, that was my biggest fear, was something being under the bed or popping out of your closet door. So um, I still have a little bit of a thing about in, if I'm, I've had jobs where I've worked nights and if there's doors open and it's dark in that room I still don't like it. So yeah, something that scares me and this is definitely it. Um, in Lavella's video she talked about um, having a phobia of fish touching her, that's also a fear of mine. <laughs> I've got so many but this would be, yeah, this is like, when I saw this from this wonderful artist I thought oh my god that, yeah, I've got to colour that might take, hopefully might take away some of that fear. So I'm not sure if you're interested, but I do have um, obviously this great big thick folder of PDFs. If you want to have a look, I'm more than happy to share that with you. Obviously I'll have to cover up some of the image to, to ensure that they can't be copied. But I will willingly share that with you if you're interested. So then we had, um, excuse my computer, then we had number four, okay, which is a picture of a witch okay and I have chosen let me move this great empty folder out of the way this gorgeous little book well it's not little it's like the same size as pop manga kind of book quite thick um, and this book is full of witches it's a lovely little book um, and I've actually never seen it on YouTube so um, it's full of witches so I can take my pick I could have had this for beverages too, couldn't I? Um, but yeah, it's, they're quite quirky pictures. But um, nevertheless, again, it's full of... They're quite funny images, look. So, can you... I hope you're getting all that in. Let me see if I can find a... Yeah, I mean, look at the... Look at her, for example. They're quite sort of quirky, funny images. But it is a lovely book. Um... And it would be great for me testing out some of my sparkly um, glitters that I recently purchased and put up on a haul. And look at that image. A little witch, she's a witch on a swing, and that's lovely. Look at that. I bring her up to you. <laughs> how cute is that? You know, in a haunted house. So yeah, it's a, it's a really really lovely book. Um, yeah. So that is. Uh, Sorcerers, I'm going to say. I don't know how you pronounce it. Have my light glaring on you? Let me turn it round. Is that better? Um, by this person, because it's in French, so I don't know. But I will try and put a link down below, because I did get it off of Amazon. The PDFs are off of Etsy, of course. All right, so we've got a picture of a witch was number four. Number five is a picture of can candy. And so for that... I've chosen The Mysterious Library, a journey colouring book into fables. Now, I have to, you have seen this in everything I haven't coloured, and I cut the binding off it because, unfortunately, it, went, it stopped you colouring the pages. Although the images were there, it was so tucked into the binding that you couldn't get to it, so I cut it off. So... This is um, going to cover two. It's a picture of books, which was um, number 10. And also, no, it's not, it's just books. I do apologise. I don't know what I was thinking then. Candy. So we have got books in here, but we've also got candy. So I needed to give myself a bit of a break. And as you can see, look where the binding was. You couldn't get to the page. But I've put one of these um, binding spines on it and it slides on and off, if you can see. And then I can take the pages out and colour it all properly. But I want the book to stay intact, if that makes sense. So yeah, so we've got candy here. 
but I also, for candy, a Hansel and Gretel book by um, Fabiana Atanasio. And if you open the page, look at those candies. Lots of them. So lollipops, um, the candy canes, sweeties, all sorts. And then obviously in here is another you know, gorgeous, gorgeous book. We've got somewhere, if I can find it. I didn't tag it because I was going to use the front page, but um, it's good to show you. Quick flip. There is the more candies there. Make sure I'm in the page. And there's there. <laughs> so I'll be able to take my pick. Yeah, here. There's the candy house. Obviously, the witch's house is made of candy. So lots and lots of different images that I can choose from there. I do apologise. I don't know how I got. Oh, I do. I didn't want to do. Um, two images in one book so I picked the mysterious library for books and then um, I'd got this one for candy so that yeah, I've given you two separate books um, sorry about that so I've got them in in the yeah there's the house look absolutely packed jam-packed excuse the pun um, <laughs> of different candies so beautiful image there so that was number five, and then we need number six, which is a woodland critter. So I'm going oh, back to my great big hefty folder. Let me just move that out of the way. This uh, Hansel and Gretel by um, Fabiana Atanasio hasn't been coloured in at all, so that would be great to get underway with that. And the Mysterious Library, I haven't coloured in that. So, woodland critters. Let me move my folder over. This is by Artistry by Lisa Marie. She's on Etsy. Wonderful, wonderful artist. And I've got this fox. Isn't he adorable? I'm just covering up a bit of the image so it can't be copied. He's absolutely stunning, her artwork. But also by this artist. I hope you can pick that up. Winton Wonderland. Cool name, really cool name on Etsy. I have got this one. I'll take it out of the page for you. And I'm going to stick... Uh, where shall I put it? Here. Sorry, just so that it can't be copied and I can show you. I'm going to bring you in slightly. Um, this gorgeous page by this artist. Look at the artistry in this. So it's about every, it's got about every woodland critter that you could think of in it. So I'm quite excited about colouring this one. So I've picked two because um, I'm setting myself quite a challenge here in that um, I'm going to be colouring these pages for you by the end of the month. Um, I'm, I'm working full time at the moment, as you know, in a school. So I do get really tired, especially with the fibro on top. So I thought if I've got two images, um, this one, the fox, or this one, I can choose from whichever I feel like at the time. So, but again, beautiful artistry, and I will link these down below. So I think that's, there's only one more in there, PDF. Let's move that out of the way. <coughs> um, the candy we've done, woodland critter, a picture of palm trees and for that I selected Gnomes in the Neighbourhood um, by Denise Klett beautiful book but again the only thing I've done it in it was following a live with Colour and Chat with Sammy and I never finished it but it's such a lovely picture so it still remains untouched really other than that um, so these ones there's lots of choice in here as well for palm trees so we've got this one I think that's quite cool, that one. I like the, the thought of colouring this little hut in. And she's being carried. Um, more palm trees. 
and the VW um, camper van. That would be quite cool. And yeah, that was it. So I've got those two choices there. That one. And I've got this one. Now in my mind, the way I work, I'm thinking that although this has got more detail, this would probably be easier to colour for me anyway because that one's got such a big background and I hate backgrounds so I don't know I will see but it just gives me those options so that is Gnomes in the Neighbourhood by Denise Clapp <laughs> my chair's collapsing again okay then we've got um, a picture of vegetables so I selected Charles Santor again I love this illustrator um, and this is illustrations from classic tales so and I picked not that one not that one not that one where is he oh my goodness I thought it was right at the beginning I do apologize there Peter Rabbit isn't he gorgeous so he's stolen himself arms full of ca carrots and he's got a few little, uh, a pea pod, and they look like beet troops there. But he's having himself a whale of a time. Again, this is an utterly beautiful book. Um, so you've got Wizard of Oz image there. Um, I don't know what that one is, it's a beautiful frog though. Um, Snow White's mother, that one. And the Velveteen Rabbit. And again, Benjamin Bunny. But this is the one, I better put a, a little love heart in there. This is the one I've chosen for vegetables because I just think he's adorable. And I love him. So that was for vegetables. Then we've got a picture of a hat. So this will be my last PDF. Ooh. And um, see, in this lot here. So this is, would help if I could move you in so you can see the image. I'm going to put my hand here. I do apologise, but um, obviously for copyright, I don't want anybody copying it. Let's stick that there. Um, so this is the one I've chosen for hat. Let me move you back out again. And as you can see, she's got this gorgeous little berry on. So I've chosen her. Now with this book, this is PDF book, that, but you, you can get it on Amazon too. Um, you get a far away image like this one, which is, uh, she's obviously further in the distance. She's got some yummy cakes there. And then you get the um, close up image of her. And that's the one I've chosen. I think it would be easier with this challenge that I've set myself, but isn't she gorgeous? Their faces are just so different, you know, I mean, look at that, this image, isn't that gorgeous? Look, it's just a wonderful book, I really love it. So yeah, so that's what I'll be choosing for hat. And then we've got, where do we get, picture of books you've seen. I did the um, mysterious library for that. And the last one, which is the bonus one, is where do you wish you could travel to right now? Well, this is a new addition in my collection, and you did see, um, if I can find it, you did see this month's page, which I did, um, with my Doe Went Pastels. So this book is full of these, so you get the colour guide, here like this and then you get the picture to colour yourself now I love being by the sea I think it's the most peaceful and tranquil place on earth to walk along a beach or a cliff top so I would wish to be anywhere in this book right now it doesn't matter where I like I love Cornwall um, it's where we go to on holiday all the time so I would choose any one of these pictures to be morphed into I mean just oh, just imagine there was one particular really gorgeous one there look at that so you've got 
can you imagine living there and opening your windows and seeing that gorgeous view every morning? That'll do me. Yeah, you can zap me straight into that little rocking chair. Thank you very much. So that's where I would be right now. So what I'm going to do, you've seen all my 10 pages and my challenge that I have set myself. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, like I said, I'm going to colour, try and colour as many of these 11 images as I possibly can this month. And then I'll come back and show you the results. Um, I'm going to come off for two minutes and I'm just going to check to see who I'm going to tag because I've been at work all day. I'm not sure if any of the people I was going to tag have already been tagged, if that makes any sense at all. So give me two minutes and I'll be right back. Right guys, so I've been through everyone that um, I can think of to tag and um, I'm hoping these people haven't already been tagged. So I would like to see Colouring with K, Kirsty Colour and Sketch and Debbie Loves to Colour. I'd like to see all three of your um, colourings for this um, tag. I think it would be great to see them. Um, also, if there's anybody new to the community that um, maybe doesn't know people to that, to have them tag them please feel free to do it and join in it'd be really great to see what you've got so I'll link the books and the PDFs down below that I've used if I can find them all I'm sure I will and um, and I'll put these um, my the people that I've tagged in thank you so much for tagging me Lavella um, and I'll let you all go so um, until next time, guys, take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.